what is going on YouTube it's been a while since I made the video and I apologize for that um, you know life just been getting crazier and crazier but I'm hoping it's gonna uh, settle down a little bit here so I'll just give you a quick recap on I guess the past couple months so last year um, I don't know if it was October maybe in November but before it got too cold I decided to uh, get a wild hair up my butt and uh, trade in my Cummins I know you briefly seen it in uh, one of my last videos on my Livingston I never made a video on that vehicle either but I traded it in a bit of an upgrade if you ask me no sneak peeks I'm gonna show you guys from the front side Okay, so uh, <clears throat> update number one, I got a new Ram, just the 1500, got big plans for this bad boy, I'm actually keeping it because I'm not trying to go upside down. Those wheels came on it, um, not super stoked on them, but they'll work for the time being. This truck had air ride before and <clears throat> the previous owner took it off, I don't know if it's because it failed or what but the air ride is gone and it's dropped it down a few inches so I got a six inch lift in the process of getting ordered up for that and then I'll get new wheels and tires steps headache rack with the <clears throat> I forget what it's called every time the rear hoop so that I can put my kayak up on top of it because if you notice it's kind of a short bed um, it's got the toolboxes, the RAM boxes, because I i didn't like it at first, but now I like it. I've been working out of the back of my truck, and all that extra storage is great. Okay, so that's update number one. Um, I will be making more videos of my truck, so don't worry about that. Anyways, that's update number one. Um, update number two, I had to get rid of my dog because he was just getting jealous of the baby, and... They were just kind of minor issues. We got we resolved it before anything happened. He's in a good home. He's at my mom's house with her dogs. Now she has four dogs, which is crazy to me, but he's happy. He's at a better place. Whatever. Anyways, dog's gone. I got a new job. I left that place. I'm, I was last working at the 12-hour shifts, 60 hours a week, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the money was great. Definitely, but I wasn't very happy, and I was getting tired of working. I mean, I miss the money, but I'm doing all right. Um, I left for a place that is paying me more by the hour, but I'm working less hours, so I'm making a little bit less money. So I took a little pay cut, but I think it's worth it for my happiness. I can spend more time with my family and mostly just not work all the time, you know, and I get to see my baby more and... Yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I am working at Cascade Powder Coating and Spider Industries. I am the CNC Plasma guy. So I CNC cut metal. Um, and then they get bent and fabricated for whatever job they need, usually. Um, Spider Industries, which I will get one or some. Some steps and a headache rack, like I was talking about earlier. Put it on my truck. And I'll do videos of it. Anyways, <clears throat> um, right now I'm on my coronation, you could call it. Uh, I got laid off because I guess I'm not essential. So I've had a lot of free time. And since I had all this free time, I decided it's a good time to uh, start working on the boat again. I know I got a couple videos up already um, last fall working on the boat or spring or whenever it was and uh, I was making a third video but my GoPro died in the process and that never made it up on YouTube I don't know what happened I, I lost the file something got corrupted anyways um, I've been doing a lot of work on it this last week and a half and I haven't been filming it which I kind of regret but kind of don't because I guess I was just trying to get it done you know not having to fumble around with cameras and editing anything just less to less to worry about and just you know get the get the thing done 
But, uh, anyways, I, I'm going to show you what I've done. I came a long ways. All right, first things first. I got rid of all the old skeletons that you guys see me build, and I used all this treated wood. All treated, this is all treated, this is treated, treated, it's all treated, so I don't gotta worry about sealing it. The only piece that's not treated is this piece right here, my top deck, because I ran out of wood. And where that wood came from was, there used to be a porch on the house we're renting, or another porch, there used to be a ramp to the porch on the house that we're renting right now. And my grandma passed away, so she ain't ever gonna be coming in and out of this house anymore. So we really had no reason to have a wheelchair ramp. So I used the wood. <laughs> Anyways, I'm hoping it's not too heavy, but I used the wood for that. I got it all cut. I got the top deck, it's in the process. I got the trolling motor mounted. I need to get some more bolts for my tray there. My tray will be mounted. Um, the foot pedal is bolted to the tray. Where my drill is over there, I'm going to have my uh, fish finder, and in between the drill and the pedal, I'll probably have a cup holder. And then on the corner over there, I'm going to have my battery charger uh, plug-in, flush mounted. Um, I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon. This pedestal, it could have went probably an inch closer, but I can still... I was fake fishing up there. I can still run the trolling motor and sit on that just fine. I mean, worst comes to worst, I move it forward a couple inches. Okay, so I got the, all the wood cut, as I said. Um, it's all cut and 80% carpeted. So I got this hatch door. Before I get too far into this, I'm just going to say I'm not perfect. I No one is. Um, if it was a perfect world, it'd be a strange place. Um, anyways, so I was doing my cuts and stuff for the carpet to trim off the extra quarter inch or whatever needs to be trimmed to fit the carpet between. Anyways, I didn't go enough. So one, one problem is I didn't go enough. So it's super duper tight. I want it tight, but that's a little tighter than I wanted. I'm gonna make it work somehow, some way. Two, the second way I messed up is when I was going to carpet them, I should have labeled them up and down. Reason being, there's a little space there. And I'm pretty sure I could just spin it and it might line up. But I think it's because this corner is supposed to be over there and that corner is supposed to be over here. And I say that because... That looks like the perfect amount that's supposed to go right here. Anyways, if that's the case, I put my carpet on upside down. Not a huge deal. It's just not going to be perfect. Secondly, I messed up big time with this, kicking myself in the butt, and I haven't got the motivation to try to fix it yet. This piece. Did a great job carpeting it. But guess what? I carpeted it upside down. The side the carpet's on is supposed to be up. This side is supposed to be down. Fits right there. Got this cut out to fit right there perfectly. Well, I don't know what happened. I got in a hurry and I put it on upside down. Um, and then that right there is going to be another hatch door, compartment door, which I have carpeted over there, it's sitting over there on my porch. I'm really hoping that it's not upside down. Anyways, other than that, I got the boat painted. I got my two batteries. I got two battery boxes. I got some lights for in the compartments. I got lights for the top deck. Two more cup holders, which are gonna go right here. Here's the troll, or not the troll motor. Here's the gas motor my grandpa gave me. I haven't even tried to start it yet. I'm going to try a few times. If I can't get it to start, I'm gonna take it to a outboard servicing shop somewhere. Um, that's kind of my last, uh, last thing on this boat is to get this going because as long as the trolling motor is running i'll be all right i need to mount my fish finder um i think i just said i got a gas can that goes right here <clears throat> um i have all the framing work for back here 
Um, it's sitting down right there. We need to mount this seat right there. That's where that cutout is. For the seat, it kind of mounts between both skeletons. It's a bit tall for sitting in and running this motor. Luckily, this thing has a pivot like this, and I can angle it up and run it like that or whatever, but it's just kind of sketchy because, one, I'm up my... What I mean it's too tall is my feet don't touch the ground. And, you know, say I give this thing a full full twist, full throttle or whatever, and for this light little boat, it might be a lot, and it might get squirrely, spin out of the chair, flip out, anything, whatever. Just be positive. Let's not think about that kind of stuff, but it's just in the back of my mind. So I cut it out a square of that one and the back piece so it sits a little lower. I'm hoping it makes a difference. It may not. Um, time will tell. I have to mount that. I'm going to put two more cup holders right here. And then, yeah, after, after that, I pretty much just got to mount up the left. Or, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to... Um, get the hinges on the compartments, the um, handles, and hand handles, locks, whatever you want to call them, and the struts, because I got struts for it too. Um, put the lights in the compartments, wire them up to a spot where I can just hit the switches, no problem. Um, the compartments and the deck, the deck will light up. Um, I got a can of touch-up paint to go through where I have scratched the green paint off do, working and stuff. And also, I'm just going to cover up some of the <clears throat> visible blue marks that I couldn't get with the roller because I rolled this paint on. So with the spray paint, I'll just go through and touch up those. I need to mount the battery charger. I need to put the batteries in the boat. And then the boat will be just about done. Some minor things here and there, like I want to get some carpet, de carpet decals, like Guggen Bates and uh, uh, Wu Tungsten, some of, my, some of my favorite brands. And then, uh, let's see, that might be it with the boat. Maybe, maybe not. I probably left something out. Oh, yep, see, I got some rod straps. I'm going to mount in the boat so that if I have somebody in the truck with me, I can, we can just strap our rods in the boat <clears throat> have more room in the truck that, that also takes me to a different video I want to make with once I get my headache rack and hoop I'm gonna get rod tubes to go on top of my truck that's a different video anyways um after that the boat should be done and then I'm gonna move back to the trailer my plans for the trailer are I got these new LED lights they all work I just have to get them um, I mean, they're wired and stuff, but I have to get some clamps or fasteners or whatever you want to call it and fasten the wires to the trailer as tucked and hidden as possible. And then I got these rollers. That's what this aluminum tube is, and that's some of the wheels. I'm going to butt up to the bottom of the boat as tight as I can, and then I'm going to cut the bumpers off, and then the boat's going to fall, well it should be touching already, but fall onto the wheels of the rollers and I'm just going to have rollers. That way if I'm out by myself making YouTube videos or whatever, just out by myself fishing, I will should have zero issues trying to get my boat loaded or unloaded. Not to mention I have some spots that I like to go fishing that don't have boat, ra boat ramps and that's not a huge deal, it's just maybe I don't want to go super far in the water because I don't know if it drops off or anything because I haven't taken a fish finder in those spots yet. So I figured if I could get just to the bottom of the boat, I can just push it off or get or to load it, just get it real close to my trailer and then take the hook and crank it in. It'll be fine. So rollers. I want to get all the holes drilled and everything drilled and set and then at my new job I'm gonna take it in I'm gonna have it or sandblasted blast all this old paint off oh yeah I bought a new uh, spare tire holder a new winch um, anyways I'm gonna have all the old paint blasted off and then I'm gonna have it 
powder coated black. Everything black besides the bumpers. Well, not the bumpers. I'm gonna take the bumpers off. The rollers. The rollers, I'm gonna have those powder coated green. As close to this green as possible. And these poles. These are gonna be green as well. But my problem is the way I mounted my trolling motor, which I still have to troubleshoot, is it hangs off quite a bit of the edge right there. I may have trouble getting it on and off the trailer because of that. Not a huge deal. What I could do is I could just chop them down, you know, to here or so and run it like that. But I guess I'll just wait till I get to that. Um, I don't want to stress about it too much. And then I'm going to make a custom uh, bar. I already tried once. I'm going to chop it up and retry again with 90s in the corners instead of instead of weld them together like this i'm going to make 90s so they look a lot nicer and then i'm going to weld that to where those straps are and all that's going to do is it's going to pull those straps out further so that i can spin these bolts around these eye loops spin those around and then those ratchet straps will be attached to that and then i can just you know, pull the ratchet strap up, hook it, crank it down real tight, like somewhere in here towards the end of the boat, instead of so far tucked under the boat. Hopefully that makes sense. And then also with, uh, that's one reason why I want to extend it. I mean, I could strap it down under there. I already did. It's not a huge deal. I just got to spin these around. But this, or sorry, this, geez, which is like stuck to my boat for some reason. This is a transom saver. This part right here is going to go onto the bar and this motor is going to fold up and this right this part right here is going to go right here. So basically it's just a support. It's to take the weight of the motor and put it and take it off of the boat transom and just put it all on the trailer so it rides on the trailer. My uncle did stiffen this boat up with this, these um, plates here, these steel plates. Did make it a lot stiffer, a lot stronger, but I plan on going quite the distance with this boat. You know, 20, 30, 40, maybe an hour long trips. And then, you know, roads are bumpy and stuff and I don't want this bouncing around, bouncing around eventually weakening this and this snaps off or something. So with the extended bar, I'm going to have a transom. It's gonna be a lot better for my transom support. And then it'll be 10 times easier to strap the boat down because I won't have to get underneath the thing and pull it out, hook it, get back underneath the thing, and crank it down. They'll just be sticking out to the end of the boat and I can just, I'll put, have these eyes turned around, just hook the eye, couple clicks, bam, bam, done. Anyways, I'm rambling on, I know, but I'm just telling you my plans for the boat, where I'm at with the boat, and just some stuff you missed because I haven't, uh, I haven't filmed in a long time. And I'm just trying to cover all my bases here. <clears throat> um, as I know, I'm off till May 4th. Today is April 8th. So I have a little less than a month, but I have plenty of time to finish this boat. And I told my wife I would get some yard work done. So we're going around my grandma's old house, picking up all my uncle's old crap and garbage he left laying around. Um, we're gonna plant some flowers, do some gardening, uh, fix up the porches, make them nice, get a pool, get, uh, um, lawn furniture, porch furniture, um, et cetera, et cetera. Just going to fix it up around here, do a couple dump runs, and get it nice and clean around here, and then hopefully by that time I'll either be back to work or they open the lakes. <clears throat> because after I do all that stuff to my boat I just told you about, I need to add the titles for the trailer and the boat. I need to get it transferred into my name. And then I'm going to get new wheels, tires, and wheel bearings. 
just so that I don't got to worry about it. I don't know how old those tires are, those wheel bearings are. I don't know any of that. So I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And then uh, I think that'll be it with the boat. I think it'll be done. Um, and if not, I'll update you on <clears throat> what, I ha what I did to it or need to do to it. Um, anyways, I work 41 hours a week unless I ask for the overtime. We get the option of working a full Friday, but most Fridays I'm off at 12. So that's pretty cool. I know I keep saying this, but I have a lot more free time on my hands now, especially that I'm working 20 less hours a week. I'm gonna be making more videos, especially if I can get this dang boat rocking. I can get out on the water and make legit videos. It'd just be so much easier to have all my stuff on a boat with me versus in my backpack hucking it around on shore or trying to film out of my kayak and <clears throat> it's a good thing this is a good thing it'll make everything so much easier and it's gonna it's gonna brighten up my channel I know I've been rambling for a long time I've been my camera says I've been recording for 21 minutes but I'm just trying to cover all bases here um, just a quick update on my life and how I've been and I'm going to try to stay consistent now that I have plenty of free time and I have a big project I was trying to document and make episodes, but I just got busy and forgot to film. But I'm pretty sure I filled you guys in. Um, yeah, I think that should do it. Um, trying to think before I get off of here. Yeah, that'll do it. I'm going to end it there. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, keep posted for my next videos. My kid's asleep right now, so I'm going to try to get something done. I don't know what, whether it's on my boat, around the house. I'm just going to try to do something. Um, anyways, until next time, guys, tight lines.